people think the yes end is yes, we're going to say yes to everything, but that's not true. We are validating what you, when I say yes and, I'm validating that I heard what you said. So I heard you, which is uh, more than 50% of the road. Yeah. Uh, so I validated that, that I heard what you said, that I acknowledge it, and I'm trying to think of like how to make it work or what does it mean for us to get there? And sometimes the means are just not feasible. Or maybe you want to move into, a, you know, you want to be promoted. And hey, yes, I do think, Chris, you're a fantastic speaker and you should be a senior Vistage speaker or whatever that, that, <laughs> that goes. But, right? but you need to do, you know, a thousand speaking engagement in three years and you don't want to travel. So yes. maybe you don't, maybe that, that, that option is not a real option for you. So it's about validating. And it's about giving people the option to, to actually go and execute on something without just immediately dis, uh, dismissing their, uh, their idea. The, the byproduct of that is that people are not afraid to bring up ideas. Um, that. Yeah. And that, that is also something that, you know, we are very intentional about like, uh, it's not just about bringing your ideas, but also sharing your failures and not just I actually talk about that in every onboarding that we do with new employees. We, uh, learning is a core value at Cloud Forget and you can't do, you can't learn without making mistakes. So I don't want, and people's, in, people always want to keep their mistakes, especially in, in, in professional environment. You want to keep your mistake to yourself because you don't want to share that with your manager because that's going to come up in your next performance review or quarterly yeah. review, or whatever, right? And, and that's going to impact your bonus and your salary and your promotion. So you want to keep that to yourself. The problem is then you can make that mistake again. And I think the worst thing is that someone else is going to make the same mistake. Yeah. And that's why I want people to share their mistakes with other employees, not just with their managers, but now we're completely sideways from the essence. Well, you, I was going, you shared so much powerful wisdom in there in many ways. I want to start with the yes and, and then work to what you just yes. said right there. Uh, the, the yes and, yeah, for me, when I teach yes and in the, the recipe of improv that I share for corporations and organizations, it is not, it's not saying yes all the time. It's looking, just at least looking if we can say yes to something and also looking to where that could potentially lead. You know, when some of the yes and brainstorming I do with organizations, we go to crazy places that we're never going to implement. But that crazy place might lead to something cool that go, ah, we could implement that. And then yeah. if we say yes to that, and what does it take? And you kind of got to that later. What is it? You've affirmed them, you validated them. What does it take to bring that into reality? And can we, are we capable? If we can, what would it be worth on all sides? Then if it works out, let's do it um, or let's not do it. You know, we've looked at this pretty solidly. And then I love also, so yes and isn't, you know, I've had one woman said, do you mean I have to say yes to everything? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Uh, sometimes no is very good right up front. But like you said earlier, no shuts down a lot of people. And, and also when you talk about failures, I love when you shared that in the Vistage meeting as well. When failures some people want to bury them, hide them in organizations. And if you're the leader of an organization, you don't want people hiding mistakes. You want to know about it right away and get a chance to deal with it before it blows up into something big. Uh, so I think that's profound too. And that's, I think yes and can lead to that. Yes and we made a mistake, so let's deal with it. 